right, well, I put about uh, two hours on the new trail tech, and I know that because it tells me. Uh, before I get into you know how it ran everything, I just want to I just want to tell you how tough this thing is. Uh, I was going up a hill, and top of the hill must have been a rock or a bump or a lip. I don't know, whatever. But I was too far forward, and the bike kicked up at me, and uh, I don't know. Face cover here slammed right into the screen of the trail tech, and <laughs> I just put this thing on. I was a little concerned, uh, so I stopped to check it out. Nothing, not a scratch. So if I can, you know, face plant this thing, it'll take punch anything that you can throw or run into. Uh, so, so that being said, that is that is great. So I I don't have any problem spending the kind of money I did on this. It range from 280 to 330, uh, depending on what model uh, bike, what you got to have with it. So, but uh, yeah, that's that's nice to know. My investment protects itself. So, uh, how did it ride? Well, how did how did it do? Well, I noticed I'm not looking at my revs or my speedo as much as I thought I would, just because I'm more concerned with gear I'm in, where I am on the bike, you know, things things you know motorcycle things when I had on ATVs uh, I had older trail techs on when I used to ride ATVs it was great I could do whatever because it's an ATV and not hard to ride uh, but what I did notice and what I can see me using a lot in the future is the logging uh, GPS altitude temperature uh, and the average speed I'm under a bridge, by the way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, altitude, speed, average speed, GPS, um, actual tracking where you're going. I, I can see that's going to be very useful. So say you know, um, I put in a you know a one and a half minute lap, uh, whatever. Okay, so judging by where I am and the time I'm there. I can cross-reference that with the temperature of the bike. So say I'm, you know, I got this nice, you know, curvy stuff and, you know, easy riding. Uh, then I get to some junk, you know, uh, logs, rocks, whatever, mud, and I'm just, just railing it. Uh, I, I can know if I'm going to damage my bike. And that's something I'm concerned about because uh, I don't want to rebuild an engine any more than I have to. And I don't feel like grenading my bike out in the woods. So. There's, there's that. That's nice to know. Uh, the, Aldi, it does have uh, two lights on it, uh, yellow and red LEDs. Both of them have settings, whether they're solid or flashing. And I've already uh, saved my bike with that. Uh, <laughs> when I went to the, to the install, I must have missed a, a clamp to, to tighten down because I do a lap and I'm steaming and, and then I'm flashing and I'm, my temperature's way up and I'm, what's going on? Because I'm just thinking, oh, I, when I usually overheat it, it does that. It'll, it'll, you know, uh, it'll vent, and it'll, okay, well, okay, I better calm down, you know, cool down for a little bit. But I'm only going like, it took like a lap or two. So I'm, mean, what the heck? Then I finally figure out, oh yeah, I got a hose loose. So uh, this thing's already <laughs> saved me an engine. So I can't speak any more highly of this thing. This thing is fantastic. It does everything I want it to do, and then some. And it's even got stuff that I don't even, I haven't even gotten to play with yet, like the. Uh, uh, the ride leader program that comes with with the computer uh, you can take the micro SD card that comes with the computer and plug it into your computer and you can download tracks and maps and trails and stuff that other people have put together at other places around, around the country that's sweet even among yourselves or even you know you go to your favorite place well what what track do I do it also an easy hard don't do so technical don't go fast you know you can just kind of just go through and say oh this this one and you're off and it, it, that's pretty sweet uh, you'll you'll see these kind of computers if not this is that computer being used by you know uh, uh, Graham Jar Jarvis uh, Andreas Letton Bickler Taddy Blazuziak all those guys when they're out doing trails like Romaniacs that's all GPS like Romaniacs is like, you gotta go here to here. That's all you got. So you gotta navigate that via just GPS. That's kind of using. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna get a lot done with this, I used to say. I'm probably gonna get a lot better, a lot faster, because I know what I'm doing, I know how I'm doing it, I know I'm not, if I'm working my clutch too much, I know if, you know, 
So, uh, I, that's about all I can say about it. I, I'm, I'm sure I could ramble on a lot more, but I want to go ride some more. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments or uh, fixyourdirtbike.com. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.